Hey YouTube, today we're going to take a bit of a comparison look at Linux Lite version 5.8, the latest release, and Elementary OS version 6.1, also the latest on the right there. Now starting off, they are both point releases, updated every six months or so, but uh, what I will also say is that they are both based on Ubuntu. Uh, the long-term service release in fact so if we were to go to a terminal and just quickly type in the following a little bit of code but don't worry too much and type in the sources list we can see it's actually running on the focal base of ubuntu so that's the long-term uh, service release also known as ubuntu 20 Point zero four, but that's where the similarities mostly end because it does look quite different here now First of all Linux Lite is running on the XFCE uh, Desktop environment there so you can see that it's uh, it's actually customized It looks a little bit different there all of the apps as you'd expect settings accessories graphics internet Multimedia that kind of thing and on the right hand side. We're actually dealing with uh, the the cus custom in-house built Pantheon uh, desktop environment so built by elementary OS so it is a little bit different to me it actually looks like uh, Mate any of the Mate desktop environments but it's also a little bit Mac OS esque Mac OS esque if I can say that as you've got the uh, basically yeah that that little launcher menu down the bottom that comes and goes as it pleases now uh, let's have a look at the the kernel for a moment so we're running on the 5.4 kernel for the left hand side but the 5.13 on the right so Elementary OS chooses to get a later and greater kernel uh, to be more useful with, uh, say, a newer CPU or a GPU, that kind of thing, or even uh, a, a Wi-Fi card, that kind of thing. Uh, whereas Linux Lite attempts to keep it light and use the older, uh, very stable kernel there. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, now let's maybe look across to the CPU and RAM just lastly, see what's going on. So both stabling out quite nicely with the CPU. This is where it gets interesting, perhaps. Now they're both running at about 600 and about 600 megabytes of RAM, both of them, on boot up. So nothing else is loaded in the background there except for the operating system itself. So they are what I would consider to be mid-weight operating systems when it comes to the, the, the upfront costs or expenditures for the, the RAM usage in particular, which is a bit unfortunate for the, the name for Linux, uh, called Linux Lite, L-I-T-E. Perhaps it should be called Linux Medium, but it doesn't quite have the same marketing ring to it, does it? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.